From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 2130, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, August 29th, 2018. First, a programming note, Amateur Radio Newsline presented the Bill Pasternak Young Ham of the Year Award to Bryant Rascal, KG5 HVO, at the Huntsville Ham Fest, August 18th. We don't have time in this report to bring you that, so please listen to the full five-minute wrap-up segment in this week's report, and you can hear the entire 25-minute presentation on the extra page at arnewsline.org. As we in the U.S. were watching Hurricane Lane affect the Hawaiian Islands, Hams in India were dealing with their own weather disaster. In the southern Indian state of Kerala, the region is reeling from what is being called the worst flooding in almost a century. Hundreds were killed due to overflowing dams and more than 300,000 people had to be evacuated to relief camps. Meanwhile, amateur radio operators throughout the region began providing HF and VHF operations for local and more distant district offices, according to a report by emergency operator JU for U2JAU. A report in the Times of India said that in Kerala alone, an estimated 120 ham radio operators had been deployed to send messages of medical aid or to report the stranded. They passed messages to assist senior district administrators for handling evacuations and getting provisions such as medicine, food and water to evacuees. State officials said relief camps at one point were housing in excess of 800,000 people and were struggling with sanitation and other issues. In one of the district's hardest hit by the deluge, 1,000 residents were feared stranded. As waters began to recede a few days later, some residents had been permitted to return home, but the crisis was expected to continue for some time to come. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jeremy Boot, G4NJH. Cuts in the U.S. government's fiscal year 2019 budget are threatening WWV and WWVH. Dave Parks, WB8ODF, Newsline's newest correspondent, has the latest. Hams have been petitioning Congress to retain the funding for WWV, which received its call sign in 1919, assigned to the National Bureau of Standards. It's considered the oldest continuously operating radio station in the U.S. Likewise, WWVB, broadcasting from Fort Collins, Colorado, is also imperiled as its critical role in keeping tens of millions of radio control clocks and other devices in sync as it has since 1963. As reported by a number of news outlets, the petition has until September 15th to collect the needed 100,000 signatures. News sources have noted that defunding both stations would reduce the federal budget by $6.3 million, a very small fraction of the proposed $4.1 trillion budget. Amateur Radio Newsline is making available the link on our website, arnewsline.org, to the online petition for those hams that would like to make their views and voices heard. You'll find the link on the printed version of this script. For AR Newsline, I'm Dave Parks, WB8ODF. Meanwhile, the United Nations is returning to the airwaves. The sounds of silence are about to end for 4U1UN. This isn't just the amateur radio club of the UN, but a DXCC entity in its own right, and it's been off the air since 2015, transmitting only beacon signals. When the UN headquarters building in New York City was renovated, the new layout did not provide room for the club's station, which was formerly located on the 41st floor in the annex. Restoring a shack to the club has been buried in red tape. The club's president, James Sart, K2QI, told DXWorld.net, The station 4U1UN, which was formerly K2UN, is the 34th most wanted DX entity. Sart said that the club is looking to restore operations on the grounds of the UN. He told DXWatch.net, quote, that equipment was recently donated to the club that will get it back on the air and that a transceiver, amplifier, and networking equipment are now in place. He said an antenna will be installed and tested perhaps later this month and things are beginning to look optimistic. He told DXWorld.net, quote, I promise that 4U1UN will be back on the air soon, end quote. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Andy Morrison, K9AWM. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at ARNewsline.org. With Jeremy Boot, G4NJH, Dave Parks, WB8ODF, Andy Morrison, K9AWM, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the News Desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wellbanks, AE5DW. 7-3, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.